Six, it is graduation season. High school seniors across the area getting ready to turn those tassels. But instead of diplomas, hundreds of students walking the stage in cap and gown will receive certificates that do not allow them to enroll in college, go to the military, or in many cases, get a decent job. That's right, Frank. And last year alone, Florida schools gave out more than 6,000 certificates of completion, even to students who passed all their classes and earned above average GPAs. I investigated and found in many cases the thing holding them back is one single test. When you see so many students with great GPAs, they work hard, they come to school, they give you your best. You don't want that kid to have a certificate of completion. In his four years at Armwood High in Hillsborough County. What'd you say you want to have Rashad? Um, 45 and 25. Rashad Godfrey has worked just as hard on his mind as he has on those muscles. <clears throat> Strength and smarts. What's your GPA? Uh, 3.0. A B average student and all about that defense on the field. But when it came to test scores, offense was key. I gotta push and just work hard to get past this test. One test stood between Godfrey and graduation. Oh, and his full football ride to the University of Iowa. There's not words to describe how frustrating it is, how helpless you feel. Um, a young man, like I said, who just does everything right for you every single day in the week as a poster child of what you want to do, that there's some test that is holding them up. Here in Florida, students must pass state reading and math assessments to graduate. The class of 2024 must earn a 246 out of 308 on the fast English language arts exam and 398 or 400 out of 475 on their algebra one end of course exam, depending on when they took that class. Current students can also graduate by earning concordant scores on the SAT, ACT, or the new classic learning test, or CLT. Those who don't can walk at graduation, but they get a certificate of completion instead of a diploma, even if they've met all course requirements and have passing grades. We've been working hard all our life, and this one test is going to us, get us a certificate of completion. I don't like it. For Godfrey, his stumbling block was the reading benchmark. It wasn't that he wasn't a strong reader. It wasn't that he didn't know how to do the work. The struggle sometimes comes with the time. Tests are timed and that becomes really stressful. Stress Armwood principal Dina Langston helped Godfrey manage little by little, day by day. I would let the teacher know that he reported to me and we would just work. We'd work on grammar, we'd work on reading, we'd work on test taking. So Godfrey would not become a statistic. Through public records, 10 investigates found more than 6,600 students statewide received certificates of completion last school year. More than 1,800 came from our area. Polk County had the most at more than 700. All around, the biggest disparities were among Hispanic and African-American students. Educators past and present say reading benchmarks are where students struggle most. For the Hispanic students, I think nine times out of ten for them is language acquisition. The African-American population, I believe that it is also some sort of language acquisition as well as resources. On top of that, black and Hispanic students are more likely to attend schools that have less experienced teachers, more turnover, and higher numbers of substitutes. Susan Valdez is a state rep and former Hillsborough County School Board Chair. She's filed legislation addressing certificates of completion and says she hopes to one day remove them altogether. This particular certificate just really does nothing for that child in order to move forward in their post-academic career and in their adult life. So if the student is interested in going into the military, it's not happening. If the student is interested in going to college, it's not happening. Something Alex Zaniga knows all too well. In 2013, he finished classes at Lato High School in Tampa with just under a 3.0. But when he walked that stage, a certificate of completion was waiting. Just because of one test, we're not able to get our diploma. Like, like that's so much pressure on a teenager. His test scores, just shy of passing. I missed it by like just a couple points. At most, it was like two or three.
It started a cycle of depression and low-wage jobs, and it took him three extra years to pass this one exam. I finally passed that test and I finally got my diploma and I was able to move forward with my life. Godfrey can almost say the same. It was a lot of emotions. Uh, I didn't know if I was to jump, cry, scream, what to do. He passed his exam, so a certificate of completion won't be necessary. He'll walk the stage later this month. Just really excited. But for hundreds of others who'll get certificates of completion instead, the weight of one test still holds many of them down. No student should ever go through this. And according to the National Center for Fair and Open Testing, Florida is one of just nine states in the country that requires so-called exit exams from high school students.